This is a typical sprinkler head. You've probably noticed them throughout your hotel in various locations. Sprinkler heads are necessary in case there is an actual fire emergency. Without them, a fire would race through your hotel, causing millions of dollars in damage, and even death. This is a sprinkler head, located in a hotel guest room. These heads have a sign on them, stating, Do not hang items from sprinkler head, this will cause flooding. But what happens when a guest does this anyway, and breaks the sprinkler head? Or maybe a vendor is carrying a ladder, and breaks a sprinkler head in one of your hallways? Accidents like this can cause major flooding. A typical sprinkler head, at a pressure of only 50 pounds, will discharge approximately 100 gallons of water per minute. The first step in learning how to shut the water off to your sprinklers, during a non-fire emergency situation, is to familiarize yourself, with all of the components of a standpipe, and how each component functions. First, let's take a look at both of our pressure gauges. This first pressure gauge, tells us how much pressure, is coming from either, your municipal water source, or perhaps, your building is equipped, with a heavy duty fire pump. The second gauge, tells us how much pressure is in the water lines leading to all of the sprinkler heads on this floor. This is the shutoff valve. The shutoff valve has to remain locked to prevent any unauthorized use. The shutoff valve is connected to what is called a tamper. When the shutoff valve handle is turned, it sends a signal to the fire alarm panel, telling us that someone is turning off the water to the sprinkler system. The next device is called a flow meter. Inside, is a paddle that runs down into the larger pipe below. When the water is flowing through the main pipe, the flow meter also sends a signal to the fire alarm panel. This will tell us that an accident has happened or there is a fire in this location. Finally, we have our two ball valves. The first is an inspector's ball valve, which allows you to view the discharging water through a sight glass. The second valve is the valve we will use to drain the water from the piping to relieve the pressure. Now that we have a much better understanding of how all the different devices work, let's focus on what we need to do to get the water to stop flowing during an emergency. Before you head to the standpipe, get your keys from the emergency key box. The emergency key box should be located somewhere near the front desk. You will need to unlock the padlock and remove the chain from the shutoff valve. Now that the chain has been removed, we are able to shut down the water supply. You will notice that the indicator is in the horizontal position. This means that the valve is open and water can flow through it. As you begin turning the handle, the indicator will move to a fully vertical position. Make sure you turn the handle all the way until it stops completely. This is what your shutoff valve should look like, once the water has been shut completely off. Keep in mind, some hotels only have one standpipe per location or floor. However, in larger hotels, there may be two or more standpipes that need to be closed. You will need to close all of the shutoff valves for your location before you can begin draining the water. At this point, you should have all of the shutoff valves closed for your location. There is still going to be a lot of pressure in the water lines, even though you have a broken sprinkler head. Therefore, we need to open the drain ball valve. This will allow the water to exit the lines and travel outside of the building. As you turn the ball valve, you will notice the pressure gauge drop all the way down to zero. You can verify that all of the water has drained by looking at the sight glass. Thank you for taking the time to better understand what to do during a sprinkler emergency. It is very important that you meet with the chief engineer of your hotel and perform a hands-on shut-off procedure. Never attempt to do this without assistance, or you can set off the fire alarm in your building.